People depend more on computers now than ever before. There are means of news, media, finance, entertainment, networking. It's hard to imagine life without one. But despite our complete dependence on them, computers are not that dependable. Yet few of us prepare ourselves for the possibility of computer or software failure. So let me help you get started in protecting your stuff by showing you how to back up your most important things using free software. Before we get started, let me say that while these programs are specifically designed for data backup, it's always best to make sure that they're backing up exactly what you want them to. Simply assuming that your data is backed up is not really a good idea. It's always best to double check to make sure your data has been backed up correctly, because ultimately the only person responsible for securing your data is you. Here's a list of key data items that are critical for successfully backing up your computer. And luckily there's a free program out there that takes care of backing up most of these. To find it go to gfi.com, click on products, and then go to GFI Backup Home Edition. Click on download freeware, enter in your information, and then click download, and then click download again. Then install it to your computer and when it's through it should automatically start. Now just click on backup to begin the backup process and then enter in a backup name and an archive name and I'm just going to name mine after today's date. If you feel the need you can enter in the other optional information but then just click next. This section allows you to choose what you want to back up. I'm going to go through the most common settings but feel free to choose whatever you want. For files and folders, expand the C drive and then the user folder and find your username and put a check mark beside it. This folder pretty much contains all your document settings, multimedia, links, favorites and so on. After you've selected that, click OK. For registry keys, to be on the safe side, go ahead and check all of them to back up your entire registry. Then click OK. If you have an email client like Thunderbird, Outlook, or Windows Mail, you can click on Email and check whichever one you have. This will back up your email, contacts, calendars, and other settings. Then click OK. Then click on the user settings and it will bring up a list of applications that you can select and back up their settings as well. Then click OK and click Next. Here you can choose where you want to back up your data. For the most part, all you need to do is browse to a folder to save everything to. If you're going to use a CD or DVD, make sure you have the correct drive selected and that you have a blank disk in the drive. Then click Next. Here you can choose a compression method and an encryption method. And if you're using a CD or DVD, you can also choose to split the files into the sizes that fit on your disks. As for the type of backup, I generally choose a stack backup option and tell it to keep at least two versions of the backup just in case one becomes corrupted. But that ultimately depends on how much space you have in your backup destination. Then click Next. Now you can set a backup schedule so that the backup program runs automatically. Then click Next and Finish. Click Yes to run the backup now and then just wait until it tells you that it's finished. Once you have the backup stored, you can also use this program to restore all the data. Just choose Restore from the program menu, select your option, and then click OK. Choose the backup that you want to restore, and then click Restore. One important thing to note is that installed programs such as Adobe products or games cannot be backed up. You have to have the original installation disks in order to restore those. However, you can back up the license keys for these programs in case you lost them or forgot them. To do this, you'll need to download Bellarc Advisor found at this website and just install it. When it's through, it should take you to a local web page that lists everything on your computer. On the left, click on Software Licenses and it will list all the license keys for the products installed on your computer. Now you can either copy those down or just print them out. Once you have everything backed up, try accessing your data to make sure it's backed up correctly. If you follow these steps, you should be prepared in case the worst happens. But if you know of any tips or any better software, please leave them in the comments below. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.